Happy New Year from the folks over at Z-Box, the mystery box made for geeks. As we celebrate the new year, we're going to have a look at the Z-Box. Now, I believe this, though, however, not to get anyone's hopes up, this is Z-Box for December 2018. So even though it is the new year, we are actually going to be looking at the last box that came to us from Z-Box for December, the last month of 2018. I hope everybody had a very safe Happy Holidays, and hope everybody had a safe as well Happy New Year. And let's hope that 2019 rings in prosperity health and overall well-being for everybody with that being said i'm going to go ahead and get this opened up and i'll put the link down below to zbox if you guys are interested in in uh, subscribing and getting the service delivered to your door zbox by the way let me give you a little 411 every single month delivers collectibles comics t-shirts and more in fact i believe there was a few instances in which zbox even included figures let's see what's in store for 2019 and january as we re rewind back to the last box for Z-Box for 2018. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and take my knife, which is a sharp new blade. That's one of my New Year's resolutions for 2019. I wanted to make sure my knives had nice, sharp blades. Nobody cares. Anyways, I hope you do care as to what we're going to be having a look at inside. The first thing we're going to be treated to is packing pillows. Now, I suppose, suppose from a pillow standpoint, if you were small enough, you could probably lay on that and get a good night's sleep. A small squirrel, for example, or a very tiny monkey could sleep on this pillow, and I think it would get a fairly comfortable night's sleep. I discard it onto the floor, and I push forward with having a look at what will be the last box for 2018. The first thing we're going to have a look at is a t-shirt. Oh, and look how cool this is. It's a retro t-shirt featuring uh, both Mario and Luigi. The t-shirt is called Brothers since 1985. And even though I don't really necessarily know how that works, they're the Mario Brothers. Follow it with me here. The Mario Brothers. But then that make Mario, 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 and Luigi Mario? I'm sure I'm not the only person who's asked that. Anyways, let's go through and have a look at the rest of the items inside, the rest of the trinkets inside. We've got ourselves also a Rick and Morty flask. Perhaps similar, minus, of course, the printing on the front to something that Rick drinks from. Uh, a pack contains funnel for easy filling. Uh, this is from... doesn't actually say. Let's see who actually makes this. No, it doesn't say. Well, it says, oh, GBI. For some reason, I thought that was going to be something else down there. GBI makes this. Let's open it up. Where Where is the funnel? I guess, is the funnel at the bottom? Is the funnel actually, maybe the funnel isn't included. You got my hopes up by saying there's a funnel in this. Let's have a look. Maybe it's on the bottom. Although I don't know. Oh, there's the funnel. I guess I was thinking it was going to be the same scale as this. There's the funnel right there. The funnel, you would just open this up like that, like that. And then you would put the funnel inside if you wanted to fill it back up with beverage. Non-alcoholic beverage. Let me stress that. On the front, it says, get Schwifty. Schwifty 5. Wasn't that a song on E-Bombs World? Boy, oh boy, do I sound... So dated. Sh 55? Remember that song? Sh 55? Anybody? No, nobody remembers that. Before YouTube was really a thing, and you had all these children opening up ridiculous things, making trillions of dollars, before that, there was something called E Bombs World, and one of the things on there was Sh 55. I bet you I can count all the way up to sh 55 before you can say poop de putty pants. One, two, two and a half. I don't remember the rest of it, but sh 55. Somebody look it up, please. Sh 55. Uh, what else do we have in here? I think a lot of people are still sort of stuck on the sh 55 thing. Uh, we also have a Walking Dead bar blade. That's pretty cool. 
Now, it's a bottle opener. I don't know why they would call it a bar blade. Maybe it's because it's two ends. Where's the opening here? This also comes to us also from GBI. I'll open up the contents here. Peel this away as best as I can. Pull this out. There we go. Well, I don't know what the bottom end does. I guess the bottom doesn't do anything. You just sort of hold it, or you could put it on a nail. That's not the most polished of bar setups, but still, you could probably hang that on a nail. And here is the bottle opening part. Now, I'm going to level with you guys. You guys come here for a second. I'm, I want to make sure that nobody else hears this. I have reason to believe... I like to keep this stuff hidden because I have reason to believe that people use my bottle openers and then, here's the thing, don't put them back where they found them. It's a frustration of mine. Every time there's a party or gala event, you know, those multi-thousand dollar gala events at someone's house, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, right. Um, I usually try to leave out the, the really low-end, crappy looking bottle openers. The good stuff, these, this would fall under the good things I usually hide. I hide because I know someone's going to be opening up that drawer, getting into this guy's drawers, that doesn't sound right, and making way with my bottle opener. Not that they're necessarily going to be stealing it, but they're going to find, I'm going to find it later on, months down the road. It's going to be under the couch. It's going to be tucked somewhere in the pillow of a chair. I just want to hide that stuff, was, you know, for those gala events of mine. Next, we also have a Banjo, Banjo Kazooie limited edition coin. And this comes to us from Microsoft Studios, also comes to us from Rare. I don't know if that's the manufacturer of this, but I can tell you it's limited to 9,995. Why not just add another four there? Uh, it's individually numbered and it's embossed on both sides. It's a silver edition coin. This is what the reverse side would look like. And this would be the Banjo-Kazooie side. Kazooie, Zooie, Zooie. So that's pretty cool as well. And last and certainly not least, we got ourselves the new Doctor Who, 13th Doctor uh, comic book. Now, it's from Titan Comics. The fact that they've put a Z-Box logo down below, I'm willing to guess, I'm willing to jump out on a limb here and say this, it's probably a variant cover as I make the windshield wiper motions. This is what, you, this is what a windshield wiper looks like, I guess, if you're on a space vessel. I guess you really wouldn't need a, wouldn't need a windshield wiper for that. Uh, let's just do a quick flip through. Our work's pretty good. Yeah, our work's actually quite good. That's a make or break for me. If our work stinks, stink a ruse in the book, I may actually just dismiss reading it altogether. But actually, con the comic artwork is top notch. That's a thumbs up, by the way, with my crooked hitchhiker's thumbs. Do you have hitchhiker's thumbs? Let me know down below. Let me also know down below what you think the best item was in the final box of 2018. I think we went out on a relatively high note here pinpointing one and only one of my favorite thing in this entire box would be probably rather tricky of course we got the flask we've got the bar blade i'm gonna have to make sure i hide that somewhere and then we got a really neat looking t-shirt the doctor who comic book and certainly also the banjo kazooie uh coin i think my favorite thing may possibly be tied between these two right here the rick and morty uh hip flask and the bar blade from Walking Dead. But let me know down below what you think the best item was in the final box of the final month of 2018, all from Z-Box, the mystery box made for geeks. Make sure as well, speaking of subscribing to the Z-Box, why not subscribe? Share a little bit of that love this way if you haven't done so already. Certainly more videos will be coming soon and throughout the entire span of the new year, 2019 so make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below get on the bus because where we're traveling my friend we don't need roads as always guys thanks for watching and i'll see you next time